goodest warning, actually, the goodest. <laughs> my phone autocorrected that like six times. I was like, this is gonna be the longest part of my stream. <laughs> me trying to get my phone to accept the I want to mistype a word. They're like, that's not a word, bitch. I was like, yes it is. <laughs> yes it is. <laughs> anyway, good morning. I hope you're all well. Hope you're all feeling silly this morning. I had an interaction last night. Um, and this is why we don't online date, people. This is why we don't online date. It's actually from someone from the previous time when I was on this app and I was reminded again why I deleted the whole app to begin with, so. Let's do our Qigong. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. There's a lot of heavy energy. Um, I don't know if it's in the world or if I'm drawing it to myself. Um, obviously I'm drawing it to myself if, if, if it's in my world. Um, we should I don't know which phone that was. I just, there's just, this one should be on Do Not Disturb. <laughs> it might have been this phone that I'm on right now, but if it is, I'm sorry because we cannot turn off the sound. <laughs> we are not, maybe we can. I just don't wanna snap, yeah. Sweet, I can totally do that and it's not gonna mess up my stream, that's amazing. Amazing technology. All right. Well, anyway, as I was saying, I don't know if there's a lot of heavy energy for you guys or if it's just me experiencing this right now, but there's a lot of, um, I'll just say there's a lot of people right now in my life that I could do without. <laughs> that would be totally fine. I just need some alone time. Look at that great adventure time blanket in the background. I'm so happy to find that. Jake looks hilarious, but like, that's fine. He's a shape-shifting dog. Like he, his job is to look ridiculous. Um, <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys are doing better than I am. Um, and I hope you're all ready to do this practice because I really need it. Um, I don't even think I'm gonna really, uh, I might, sh I'll share this, but I don't think I'm really gonna, um, way too long. I think I'm pretty much just going to jump into the practice. So. so hopefully you all are ready as well. Basically all you need, um, if you haven't been here before, welcome. Thank you for being here. Um, thanks for dropping me a follow if you do. Thanks for following me on Instagram if you do that. Um, I do appreciate it. But we're going to get ready. I'm thinking that we're just going to do our standing morning practice and we might even feed into the afternoon practice as well. I didn't do anything yesterday. Um, I mean, I did a lot yesterday, but not my practice. <laughs> Played, built a bunch of pillow forts, um, had a good day with my son, but it was, it's busy. It's super busy and I miss having my time to do my own thing as well. So. <sighs> so before we get started, Everyone just get comfortable, find their spot, find their footing, um, find a little bit of a clear head. I know a lot of us overthink, you hear the word meditation, we get all panicky about it, but we'll just clear our head, stand here, sit there, breathe in, and as your mind inevitably wander, wanders off as it will, just breathe and bring it back to the breath. ourselves a few minutes here to just be breathing, breathing in, one, two, holding, and breathing out, one, two, three, four. And just, like I said, bringing your mind to that breath every time, doing what makes it easy for you, whether that is counting in and out as you breathe, whether while you breathe in, you say, I am not the body, not even the mind. I am not the body, not even the mind. Breathing in, I am not the body, not even 
believe in the mind. Just recognizing that you are not, you are not the body, you are not the mind, you are the soul inhabiting both of these areas, mental. Any energy that you picked up already through your day, through your night, whatever time zone it is for you, just roll your shoulders out, drop them back, release your jaw, and just let it go. Let go anything that doesn't serve you, anything that you might be holding on to, thoughts from your past, belief systems, old relationships, mentalities that no longer serve you, whatever it might be, just breathing in. I am not the body. I'm breathing out. Not even the mind. This is my favorite shoulder crack, just crossing my wrists and rolling my shoulders down in case, in case you guys needed a good one. All right. And as we get started, um, as I said, we're going to start with our morning practice. Then we're going to fade into our evening practice if we have the time. Um, I am going to share this quickly in Discord so I don't forget. Because I already forgot. So. Oh. <sighs> much earlier than I normally am, so I don't know who will be here, um, but we will see. We will see. It's early here, but it's not early for everyone, so. Oh, it's so snowy in India. It's great. I'm hoping to do this before I wake up my son, so. That is also the reason for the early morning. I didn't think I was going to be able to stream today, but decided to. So, all right, get comfortable. Find some place to spread out. Standing position, like I said. We're not going to do our seated practice like we normally do, um, unless someone comes in and requests it. So, um, for the moment, this one's a great one to wake us up. Shake out some of those morning sleepies. Begin by bringing both hands over your lower abdomen and taking some nice, long, slow, deep breaths. I'm going to be just adjusting the sound a bit, too. I want to make sure that you guys can hear okay, that I can hear okay. Make sure that I can see all right as well. So, as usual, we start bringing our hands over our lower abdomen making sure our shoulders are dropped down and we're just taking some nice deep breaths. We're just getting centered, relaxed, calmed down for the day. Thank you to my viewers. I appreciate you guys. Um, I'm going to make sure I've got my water. I'm going to turn my water on for tea. Prep for my day. Elon had a super late night, so I'm hoping he sleeps in. I don't work until noon today, so there's that doesn't mean I work until 11, so that's fun. <gasps> All right, my loves.
Ooh, I forgot I did a thing. My son wanted a new one. He's very adamant that he wanted this. Kind of this one, the music note in there. Oh my god, how cute! So, we might have used the wrong L. I see that now. This is a little wonka doodle, as usual. Oh, maybe it's the eye that's weak. Oh, you know, that's bound to happen. These aren't perfect. People make them look really perfect, but they're far from it. I used to love to go change these big signs, like, um, like on church signs and stuff, and make them say dirty things. Oh, there it is. This does have a plug, so I'm like, should I plug it in? <gasps> Good morning, Rowdy Rowdy, hello. I totally, um, just getting started. I'm Cosmic Carly, nice to meet you. Um, I'm thinking you're new. I don't recognize your name. I'm good. How are you? Um, it's early over here from, oh, I'm not, not super early, but it's kind of early over here. Oh, um, I'm just getting a couple last minute things set up as usual. Kind of waiting for people to pop in. Usually people are here at like 9 or 10 a.m. my time. Hanging with your mom. Moms are the best. I'm a mom. I actually spent most of my morning cleaning up my son's toys <laughs> before I could actually do this. Moms are top tier, man. They got good advice. They usually <laughs> know a thing or two. Super sweet, cooking good food. <gasps> she just beat me in a burp contest. <laughs> That's my kind of mom. My mom always made fun of me. I came home from college the first year and she was like and I like let out this huge burp and she was like I did not miss your burps she's like I missed you but I did not miss your burps <laughs> I was like that's a quote <laughs> I'm keeping that quote she's man moms are awesome yeah my son his best joke oh shoot I see speaking of I woke him up Sorry about that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Got shoot, my son. Um, my son is three. 
He was up really late last night. He should be asleep. Step will play. Let's see. I hoping, hope you're having a nice day or night wherever you are and that it's as amazing and lovely as you, Blue Rebel. And the same with everyone here as well. Good morning. Hi, Wolfright Stone. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, clearing my throat. I come over here and then I clear my throat. <laughs> oh, well, I was out here chatting and then I woke up even. Benetron, hi. Hello, does everyone have their water? Hydrate. Hydrate. <laughs> it's a new welcome. Um, it's the welcome on Mars. It's, not, it's funny because they don't have water. Um, if you are ever sad, remember, you shine brighter than the moonlight and the stars in the night sky, and nothing can bring down the brightness that you shine every day without fail. So true. Oh, did I see your question? Still got the skills. How am I? How am I? <laughs> Is that the question? Um, I'm doing well. <laughs> I mean, I was doing better before I woke up my son. Now I feel a little guilty, but it's okay. This beautiful rainbow smiling orange haired angel. <laughs> Um, Roddy, did I miss another question? Hello, how are you? Good hanging out with my mom. She just beat me in a burp contest. Still got the skills. Gotta still have the skills. You just said, aha, you still got the skills. I thought it was just a joke. I thought you were just making a statement. No, I don't. No, no, I do not at all. Because my diet's changed completely. I used to be eating stuff that was super unhealthy for me um, and was just having like just sick because of it. So I do have my water and I got Carly on TV. Oh no, I'm on the big screen. It's too much pressure. <laughs> run, and run. I screen, I, I stream me on a little phone. I tried to stream once on a computer and I was just like, this is, 
if this needs to be, if my face is going to be this big, my quality needs to be a hundred times better. So then I started looking up mirrorless cameras. So I was like, I'm not going on any screen bigger than four inches if I don't look top quality. Aww, that's so cute. Well, I hope this quality gets a lot better. Um, I know, honestly, I got it. I tried to, I actually streamed Sims for a long time yesterday. I tried to stream, um, you're fine. Um, I tried to stream Binding of Isaac. Well, I didn't try to stream it, I just tried to play it. And something is wrong with my computer. And I don't know what. I look at it and it's just like pretty lights and just dis distracting to me. But there's something missing. Like 100% there's something missing on my computer because it's like it like says there's a graphics card but then it won't actually it's like using the like M Microsoft one as the driver instead of like the Nvidia one like I don't know if it's not connected or so basically I say click I click is it Sunday oh my god it's Sunday my church just sent a reminder <laughs> um it's Sunday morning worship service right now. Um, my goodness, I got so distracted there. Um, yeah, so essentially, wow, thank you. <laughs> you guys, I know, Ben, I really want you to help. I'm like, okay. Yeah, I think graphics issues, I think, because essentially I click on Binding of Isaac and like, it says, I'm playing, you just started it, but nothing opens. Um, Sims has played, but Sims plays through Origin, and that seems to be fine, and now that I think of it, I don't know if I've actually tried to play anything else. I don't know. Do I have GeForce Experience installed? Ooh, I don't know. Should we go find this out? <laughs> Should we go see this on my computer? You guys can uh, just troubleshoot with me while we're on, <laughs> while we're streaming. <laughs> it's the NVIDIA driver updater. That's why it sounds familiar. Okay. Um, I, I think so. Let me see. I would like to try and find a church I like. I've been, <gasps> Air Knight is raiding with a party of one. Hi, Air Knight and friends. <laughs> I don't, it says one, but I never know. There might be people lurking who just don't count as viewers. I always assume there are more. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I do that even when I talk to myself, but it's just me in the morning. Like, gosh, you're all looking so good today. <laughs> it's great to see you. Thanks for coming in. I like to try and find a church I like. I've been avoiding it because I had a messed up experience last time I went. This dude gave everyone the bread except for me. I was so angry. I've even had it from someone else and no word of a lie went off it started raining whoa wolf right stone hold on you're pulling some energy to you oh hi sweetie hi i did a host raid i wondered if it was a host um it's my cheeky way of saying hello <laughs> that's fine with me um yeah because sometimes when i'll host it'll say raid and like Ray just sounds so much better than a host. I love it. <laughs> host is just as good though. Host could e honestly even be better. Because, well, it's really essentially the same thing. If you raid into someone, you're essentially like, hey, this is who we're going to see. Y'all coming to see me, come see us too. We're here. This is where we at. This is the after party <laughs> of the party. Um, That's how I think of it, actually. And I never thought, I never said that out loud until right now. And I love that. Uh, Twitch after party. Where's your Twitch after party? Hopefully Kiana Rama. Um, if you guys are not following my friend Kiana Rama, please do. Amazing DJ, -er, sweet all around person, beautiful beyond words. Like I'm gorgeous. She's like <laughs> ten times me. <laughs> I like. And um, like the most beautiful soul. So Kiana Rama, K-I-A-N-A 
R-A-M-A. -A. Um, so, so random, totally random shout out there, but she's fantastic. Um, yeah, but anyway, Wolf Bright Stone Church. <laughs> I mean, we're di we're different. We're different. We're both equally beautiful. You know, I don't, I don't. There's no more comparison anywhere. I'm not like, oh my god, she's so much prettier than me. I'm just like, oh, uh, aspirations, stream aspirations. So she no longer works her full time job now. She streams and DJs, and like makes money doing what she loves. So like. I love that you know that's like when people start following their dreams and like no longer rely on like a nine-to-five job and they're just getting it and they're just like you know grinding and doing it and like making it happen with you know social media putting yourself out there and you have to get your own jobs then and make your own money and like make ends meet like that's Dude, I commend people, and that like just for some reason in my mind just like brings people to another level of like, wow, <laughs> you know, of attractiveness, I guess is that those things are connected in my mind. It's like, dang, like you, that's really super brave, something I, I aspire to do eventually. Um, <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh my God. Yeah, not gonna lie. Um, um, my neighbor has just been posting some things that are just sassy, and I'm like, <laughs> and so I had to do something back. So it's a little passive aggressive, but it's also, um, I came from like roughness. Like, I look nice and sweet now. Like, um, and I am nice and sweet now. Well, like, I used to be, like, aggressive. And I still have, like, I was actually just playing The Sims yesterday. And my Sim character, um, like, instantly fell in love with this other redhead while she was out. <laughs> just, like, love at first sight. They're perfect for each other, too. And, um, so the other redhead, her wife, um, whose name I'm totally gonna forget right now. Her last name was Caliente. Um, <clears throat> wow, my bad. <laughs> anyway, um, so she has like a temper, right? And so when she gets like frustrated or hot-headed, she just like gets mad for no reason. Um, she has to go work out. And like, so I built her up this whole little gym upstairs <laughs> and it's awesome. And I'm like, oh my God, like, duh, Mr. Rogers knew this, like, there are better ways to get out our anger and we have to find it. Like, your anger doesn't just go away. Like, you don't just like sit down and like think away your anger, like, which is what my parents expected me to do all through my childhood now. And I look back on it, it's like, oh my God, that was so insane. It was just like, go deal with your emotions by yourself somehow we're not gonna give you any way to or like any suggestions on that we're just gonna punish you when you don't do it the way we want you to so anyway <laughs> emotions are tough um but anyway so the whole point of that story was just that um yeah i posted that and i didn't want to post it because i was like oh, i'm past that point in my life where it's like aggression i don't want to like jump to aggression anymore i want to like I do want to put love out there because I think even people who come at you with hate really just need love back. Um, so I don't want to, put, you know, I was I was pretty hesitant on posting that because it is a little bit more towards hate. Hi, cutie pie. How are you doing? You're doing messy.
<clears throat> Tiffany and Terrell, hi, welcome in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> welcome in, Raiders. Hi, Tiffany and Terrell, you guys, if you are not following, please give Tiffany and Terrell a follow. Amazing reader, super sweetheart, always great in every chat. Um, welcome in. Raid, 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 raid. Hi, I was just over there. My son just got in. <gasps> Grandmaster Rushy, we're doing some moves. We're getting our moves on. Adelaide's in here. Hi, Adelaide. Look at those good emotes. Throwing out those emotes. I was once in a stream where it would only let me post a certain amount of emotes and it kept like timing me out because <laughs> I love emotes so much. I was like, why do I want to use emotes so bad in this chat? Hello, Tiffany and Terrell. Oh my gosh, we're so excited to have you in. Welcome in Raiders, hello. I'm Cosmic Carly, my sign's over there and my son's over there. <laughs> my sign and my son. Um, we do Qigong here. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to clear my throat because I'm super excited that you're here. Wow. Thank you for following me. Um, and thank you for following Tiffany and Tarot as well, Aaron. Thanks for coming in here, you guys. And my son just woke up, so he's just like ready to go. Normally, I only do this when he's not here, but he was sleeping. So I was like, this will be fine. I'll just do a quick little practice. Um, so Qigong is a martial art. Um, if you haven't heard of it, a lot of people think of it as yoga if they haven't tried it. Um, but after you try it, you realize it is completely its own um, practice. It moves healing energy through our body, through, um, through our joints, through super painful areas, lower back. A lot of us have pain in shoulders we do a lot of shoulder moves we do um we interlace our fingers actually and do a neck massage um so we do like a lot of like pressure points uh for anxiety uh for insomnia for clear thinking so a lot of times when you're like i wish i just had you know something to calm me down some ones for headaches um so a lot of good things that we learn here which is nice Oh, I hope you have a great rest. I hope you go get yourself some water or tea, take a hot Epsom salt bath, soak, release all that energy that you just got, <laughs> shake it off, uh, do some dance movement therapy, whatever you got to do to release it. Um, but I know that that is a always exhausting, no matter what, <laughs> to do a tarot stream, to do any stream really. So take care of yourself. Thanks for being here. Thanks for sending your community here. I appreciate it. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Get some rest. Whoever can stay, I appreciate. And I appreciate you if you can't stay too. I hope you <laughs> go get some relaxation because we all deserve it. Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah, honestly, you will not regret it. <laughs> I'm just a phenomenal streamer overall. I just stepped on some Play-Doh. You're wondering why I looked down at my feet. I was like, oh, that's a little crumble of Play-Doh. <laughs> oh, I'm glad. Yeah, we try to try to keep it peaceful. <laughs> I'm going to put my um, fuzzy socks on. It is pretty windy. Hey, Google, what's the weather here? Right now in Grand Rapids, it's 31 degrees and cloudy. Today, it'll be cloudy, with a forecasted high of 32 and a low of 12. Due to current wind conditions, it feels like it's 20. I was going to say, it's super windy out there. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Celsius, please? Yeah? The current temperature in Grand Rapids is minus 1 degree Celsius. Due to current wind conditions, it feels like it's minus 7. Oh, you want burr? 
I didn't have a dream last night that she left her bird out all night. Yeah, it's just a dream. Burr is I-C-E-C-R-E-A-M. Oh, go sleep. Rest up. Thank you so much. Mommy? Roar! 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 Tell me if you're really out of okay. No one will hurt you. Mommy. What, Bubba? That's so cute. Do you need a new diaper? He's a water jockey. He cleaned up a little bit. Okay, Mama. What were, what were you looking for? Daddy, Daddy, Mama. Oh, the rest of that robot? Mm -hmm. Oh, I think it's in the other room. You wanna see? I think you only have one arm and one leg, so I don't think you're gonna be happy. <laughs> we gotta have a serious discussion about what parts of the robot we have left. <laughs> where where do you do you want me to go help you find it? What is that? I don't know if we have the head. I don't think we have what about that head? Would that head fit in there? Let's see this one. Oh, what if it fits though? Would that be cool? I think it would be pretty cool. Ah, that's the boy, Daddy. You're right, it doesn't fit in there. Okay. Here's your helmet for him, though. He looks just the same as the other thing. He looks the same as Nick Jr. He's hunky. He's little. He's this guy. It doesn't even fit his head, so it's not him. I know. I put him. Can I see this? And this? So this is a little. My mom bought my son junk bots. So it's like different robots made out of different like discarded trash, like a refrigerator. My son just put the decapitated head that I was like, where does this guy come from? He doesn't belong in there. So he tried to put it in the fridge. It's like, that'd be a really good storage place for it, actually. Here you go. It doesn't fit, though. It's too bad. That'd be hilarious. Um. You got it? Good job. Keep it warm. It's not. It's not a long sleeve shirt. 
talking to you guys on Twitch and I'm like typing on the computer, <laughs> running, <laughs> or climbing on my back. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Hi cutie, bye. I know. He knows that we're on camera right now so I don't, well, this won't last very long. Chaos. <laughs> yeah, he's really sweet. It's not even super crazy. It's just like, we definitely oh. can't stay focused when it's... Mom, I'm very Puma. Do you like my bracelet? I'm very You don't like it? <laughs> I like it. Don't my bracelet. Oh no. Did you see me put the music on?
blanket floor okay we're back and we're back thank you for those of you who waited patiently um so we are just starting if you have a yoga mat you'll want that um or i prefer it anyway um but it's not needed so Thanks again for your patience. So get comfortable, um, find a spot to stand, and um, hopefully you should be able to hear the um, tattoo drop in good morning. You should be able to hear the video all right, um, and I will be doing moves. So this is Lee Holden, L-E-E-H-O-L-D-E-N, um, who does the practice. So if I end up stopping not doing it, just listen to the words and um, do the move to the best of your abilities. Um, but this is our morning Mommy, practice, Mommy, standing Mommy. morning practice. What, honey? You are buried. some nice long slow deep breaths allow the abdomen to expand as you inhale and as you exhale move the abdomen towards the spine deep abdominal breathing is a great way to begin any qigong practice and
Can I say please? Stays on. That's all I ask. for it. yeah exactly all right so we're just about to do our standing practice so we're standing hands on our abdomen and breathing are you hungry bum you gonna eat some breakfast you gonna get something for breakfast you want some water Guys, the coolest little fingers. <laughs> These are actually like silicone, well flexible, like rope. Uh, I guess like cable, braided cables, connectors. There's one more, and I saw it somewhere. I didn't vacuum it up, but I'd feel silly if I did. My car was so cool. Um, anyway, I seriously like people are like, I'm a big kid, and I'm like, are you though? <laughs> Good morning. I feel so bad. Can you tell me how to spell your name? E L I N. It's no no problem at all. Um, I'm really bad at remembering things about people or who said what to me. Like my brain, for some reason, especially when it's online, like in chat, I'm like, oh yeah, the person with the green name said that. Like, what? Yep, yep. No, it's so cool. <laughs> dying ro a dying robot sound, but that thing has always sounded like that since the beginning. Um. I know I'm like, should I go somewhere else to do the practice? I don't think so. No matter where I go, he will be there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he totally exactly yeah mama's boy um i do want to do this practice though i knew i knew it was going to be difficult i thought he was going to kill you too. <laughs> what oh, you don't like it so much on
you get a minute? Oh, no. It's so early there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> right, yeah. He, he just wants, he doesn't like to do it with me. All right, so we're going to do the practice while he is in his room snuggled up in bed. Um, and I'm going to light this candle. If I can find it later, and then we'll get started again. Rest, rest up. I will never be upset if you choose sleep. Ooh, I haven't seen it yet. Um, I kind of, I always want to choose sleep. You guys know this. I kind of should be sleeping, but I'm not instead. Fabulous way to start your day. Again, in. Fabulous way to start your day, everyone. So tell me if the sound... That might have been loud just to start. Hopefully it's not. Go sleep. Night nights. Night nights. I got my tea too. Then all night are feeling a lot of energy. Oh my goodness. Take a hot up some salt bath. Let's do some insomnia qigong practice. Um Shoot, see, this is why we never do. This is why we never do our morning practice, because you guys always need to sleep. Um, let's do this one. Inhale, right arm up. And exhale, left arm up. Gladly. Relax your hips. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of a gonna, figure eight. We're going to do this practice. This is our PM standing practice. Begin by bringing both hands over your lower abdomen and taking a couple of nice long deep breaths. Deep breathing is a good way to recharge and center your energy. Feel your energy and your awareness just drop down to your lower abdomen. And then take both hands up by your shoulders and inhale, exhale and round your back and tuck your tailbone under. Deep breathing into the spine. 
exhale, round the back, tuck your tailbone under. Inhale and open the chest. This is called spinal cord breathing and helps to bring a smooth flow of energy up through the spine and into the nervous system. It's a great way to end your day stress-free. Yeah, I honestly started this practice asking if anybody was feeling like a super heavy energy in the air. Um, yeah, I've been feeling it for sure. A lot of people around me in my life, it's been a lot of tension. Um, but yeah, so right now we're just doing our um, spinal cord breathing. We're breathing in, arching our back, rounding our spine. So this is a great one for our spine. Highly recommend doing this one. And this is the evening standing practice. So this is good whether or not you've slept. And re-energized. Synchronize the breath with the movement. And exhale and round the back. Take a deep breath and open the chest. Feel all the joints in the spine moving. And then turn to your right and open the chest. Hold as you exhale. Then round to the center and turn to your left. Take a nice deep breath. And then take another nice long deep breath into the left side of the lungs. Exhale and round to the center. Tuck the tailbone under. Inhale, twist to the right. Exhale. And then take another deep breath. Round to the center. Feel the spine stretch. As you twist, you're going to open the spine a little bit deeper, as well as take the breath deeper into the lungs and recharging your body. Inhale and just open the chest now. Exhale and relax and come down. The next movement is called water waves and moves the spine in a twisting direction that really helps to enliven the back of the body. So flow from the hips and the waist in the center, relax your neck and shoulders, and just let the arms flow in a circular spiraling motion in front of you and behind you. The arms don't touch the body. They spiral and flow just in front and behind the body, creating a rippling of energy that goes from the center, the hips and the waist, and moves up the spine and out through the shoulders. Go ahead and take a couple of nice long deep breaths. Increase the movement a little bit more. Relax the arms even more. Relaxation and moving from the center are key principles to work with in Qigong. Bring the hands down to your sides. And then lean a little bit over to your right side, relaxing your neck and shoulders. Then go over to the left side, relax the head, the neck, and the shoulders. Now start to move in a flowing lateral direction where you're shifting the weight left and right, moving the hips and the waist, move through the rib cage, and then relax your neck and shoulders and head. This is dog wagging the tail and is designed to really free up the flow of energy from the spine into the nervous system and all the way up into the head. Shift the weight left and right, relax a little bit deeper, move the spine in this lateral direction and try to relax all the joints from the hips, the waist, the ribs, the neck, and the shoulders. The lateral movement of the spine is sometimes the most challenging, and this is where we hold the most tension in our bodies. Feel this water-like flow moving into the spine, keeping it supple, relaxed, open, and clear. Take one more deep breath and slow the movement down. Come back to a place of being centered. Just relax and notice how your body feels here after doing those exercises. And now take the palms together behind your back. The palms press together and then slowly roll your head in a circle. This stretch will open all the joints through the neck and shoulders, the cervical spine, and keep those tendons and muscles lengthened and open. 
You don't have to bring the head too far back. It's mainly ear to the shoulder, up, ear to the other shoulder, and chin to the chest. Go the other direction. Take a nice deep breath. Feel that opening through the muscles, deep into the shoulder joints. And even if you press your palms together a little stronger, you'll get the stretch down into the forearms and the hands. Take a nice deep breath. Area where we chronically hold stress and tension by moving to free up the flow and increase the range of motion. Now hold the head over to the right side, just ear towards the shoulder. Maybe a little bit back so the chin looks up towards the ceiling. Take some deep breaths and try moving the head down a little bit further forward towards the chest. Turn the chin towards the shoulder. Take a deep breath. While we're stretching. As you hold the stretch, just feel that lengthening just a little bit deeper. Very I'll bury you out here. I'll bury you out here. And slowly switch sides. So ear towards the left shoulder. Take a nice deep breath. Use your breath as a way to clear tension and tightness out of the neck. A good way to do that is to focus on your exhale. So take a long deep breath, then exhale all the way out and feel tension, tightness, or stress melting out of those muscles in the neck and shoulders. Try that again, nice deep breath, keeping the head over to one side, exhale all the way out, and then return back to the center. Take the palms together, interlock your fingers, and begin to move and circle your wrists. This exercise opens the wrist joints and the elbows and the shoulders. Move the wrists in all different directions, back and forth in little spirals, and then start to bring in the elbows and the shoulders, lifting one elbow up towards the ceiling and then the other. Feel how that opens the rib cage and the spine, as well as the shoulder joints and the wrists. The name of this movement is the rooster spreads his wings. This movement opens the tendon lines through the ribs so that you can take deeper breaths into your lungs as well as opening all the joints through the upper body. Go ahead and reverse the direction, bringing that elbow up towards the ceiling and circling back and around. Feel the movement coming from your hips and your waist, even though it's an upper body movement. The lower body and the upper body moving together harmoniously. Breathe into the flow, relax your body, and feel that life force energy circulating and flowing through the whole system. Slow it down now and come back to your center and just move through the wrists, the shoulders, the hips and the waist. This time move in a free form where you just let the body unwind through the wrists, the shoulders, the hips and the waist. Move however feels comfortable in your body. Take one more deep breath with this. Then come to the center, bring both of your feet together and your hands by the heart. Press the knuckles of the thumbs into the center of the chest and take a deep breath. This will help to center your body's energy, relaxes nervous tension or any kind of stress that accumulates in the heart center. Then take both hands up over the head, reach up through the fingers, and then bend the knees, come down, feel grounded and connected to the earth. Standing tall, open the arms, say heart to the universe, let your heart expand and open. And then come down and bring that heart and chest center towards the earth. Feel the strength and energy in the legs. Again, standing tall, open the heart to the universe. Feel the strength through the spine. Come down and get grounded. Sink and bend the knees. Open the chest, take a deep breath. Come to the center. And now go into a forward bend. Keep your legs as straight as you can and begin to massage your hamstrings. Just go up and down from the hips to the knees, opening the back of the legs. This is a line of tension. The hamstring can get extremely tight and that tightens the lower back. Now massage the lower parts of the legs from the knees down to the calves. Feel that flow of energy moving in those muscles. Bring that good circulation and energy to the back of the legs. Breathe into it. Feel the stretch and openness. Take one more deep breath here. 
and then begin to slap the back of the legs, stimulating the pressure points all along the back of the legs and the back of the body. Thank you. Now come up, interlocking the fingers, take a deep breath, and bring the hands up over the head, the fingers interlocked. Come up onto your toes and lift <laughs> up through the body. The pressure point in the toes is called the bubbling springs. We're lifting that energy up through the body and then coming into a side stretch. So lean over to your right, press through the palms and open the rib cage. The sides of the body are associated with the liver meridian. Now this meridian line is responsible for the smooth flow of chi in the body and how we process stress. Come back to the center and then lean over to your left side. Take a nice deep breath. Feel the meridian line on that side open. Also feel connected to the earth through the bottoms of the feet, the hips and the waist open, the rib cage open, the breath deep and full. Great, then come back to the center, take the arms out to your sides, shoulder height, and then press the palms out to both directions. Lean the head over to the right shoulder, take a deep breath. Back to the center, and lean the head over to the left shoulder. Take a nice deep breath and stretch. This exercise both strengthens and stretches the tendons and muscles in the upper body. Now take the hands and point them behind you. Pull the arms back, lean the head over to the right shoulder. Take a deep breath. Breathing into this one is really important because those tendons are really working on lengthening and opening. Go to the other side, lean the head over to the left shoulder. Breathe into it. Feel the opening down the tendon lines of the arms. Deep breath, exhale, and bring the arms down to the sides. Shake it out a little bit. Get that chi to flow all the way down to the fingertips. Now take the fingertips together with the thumbs, arms up by your shoulders, and lean the head over to the right. This will stretch the other side of the arms. The outside of the arms here are associated with the yang meridians inside is associated with yin meridians. Now lean the head over to the left side. Take another nice deep breath. Come back to the center and pull the arms back and bring the fingertips so they face forward. Head to the right side. Breathe into it. Stretch and strengthen. One more side. Take your head over to the left. Take a deep breath. Make sure those arms are shoulder height. Pulling back and away to create that length. Deep breath and slowly drop the arms down. Shake them out. Relax the wrists and the hands. Stepping out, feet shoulder width now. And then begin a movement called the wave. Extend your chin forward, bend your knees, tuck the tailbone under, and roll up through the spine. The wave is designed to bring a free flow of energy up through the back of the body and down the front of the body. It circulates energy up the spine and down through the internal organs. Feel this water-like quality moving through the body and through the spine. Inhale and expand as you come up. Exhale and relax forward as you come down. Free up tension, free up tightness. Feel this wave quality wash through the spine and create this nice flow of energy. Now extend it out through the arms. Take a deep breath, roll the arms back and up over the head and then flow forward as you wave through the spine and let that energy wash out through the arms. Water-like movements cultivate intrinsic power and strength, that strength that comes from within and uses the principle of relaxation rather than force through the muscles. Water is extremely relaxing, but at the same time, very powerful and energetically strong. Again, inhale the arms up and exhale and flow down. Feel how this movement integrates, keeps your whole body connected. And then relax, bring the hands down to the sides. And we'll reverse the direction. Exhale, chin comes down to the chest and flows forward. Nice deep breath as the head comes up, chin to the chest as you roll down. This brings youthful vitality into the spine, clears pain or tension, 
and allows the back of the body to open and flow. Exhale as you come down. Inhale, expand and lifting. The movement here really rolls from the hips up through the spine as the movement extends and expands. Now let's bring the arms into the movement. This next sequence is called waterfall. Inhale Sorry. and bring the arms up towards the mid I'm going to go back a little bit. Action. Exhale, chin comes down to the chest. Feel how this moves. Okay. Um, hopefully, oh, star child. Hello. Welcome in. Um, hopefully you are doing this practice with us because it is really good for our back, especially if we're getting a lot of energy, if we're a tarot reader. Um, which you are, if you, uh, I'm guessing you stream, so everyone please give, I have, don't think I've seen your stream yet. Love to see your practices, stop by to say hi, thank you so much. Okay, give a, give Star Child of the Divine Tarot a follow, everyone. We love you, thank you. Um, Dylan's over here playing with Power Rangers, so I needed to make sure every, everyone was good. Standing up straight. Hmm. Cold tea. No, thank you. Okay. Okay, ready, guys? I'm ready. We stopped it at 1422. Movement integrates, keeps your whole body connected. Back hands down to the sides, and we'll reverse the direction. Exhale, chin comes down to the chest and flows forward. Nice deep breath as the head comes up. Chin to the chest as you roll down. This brings youthful vitality into the spine, clears pain or tension, and allows the back of the body to open and flow. Exhale as you come down. Inhale, expand and lifting. The movement here really rolls from the hips up through the spine as the movement extends and expands. Now let's bring the arms into the movement. This next sequence is called waterfall. Inhale and bring the arms up towards the mid eye and then just let it flow down the front of the body. Inhale and bring the arms up. Exhale and come down. Use your hips and your waist to move and control the sequence of flows. Inhale, hips come forward. Exhale, and the hips go back. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Now integrate everything together, the hips, the spine, and the movement of the arms. Feeling this nice flowing energy like water moving down the front of the body. This movement clears mental stress and tension creates emotional balance. Take both hands together by the chest and we'll begin a movement called swimming dragon. Take the hands out to the right side, shift the weight to the right. Then take the hands to the left, shift the weight to the left, but turn the head in the opposite direction. So hands go to the right, but the head goes left. Again, shift the weight, turn the head in the opposite direction. This will stretch the spine and open the tendons. The swimming dragon is said to increase longevity and keep the body youthful and healthy into old age. Shift the weight, turn the head in the opposite direction. And then we'll do it with a wide leg stance. So stand a little wider, wider than your shoulders, and then shift the weight to the right. Shift the weight to the left. Head goes to the right as you're shifting the weight to the left. Good. Breathe into it. Shifting the weight in one way and turning the head the other is said to help your right and left brain find harmony and balance. Now increase the range of motion with a bigger shift to the right and a bigger shift to the left. Push that arm, that inner arm, through and across the body and stretch and open the sides, the arms the upper back and between the shoulder blades. And now start to swim through the spine. Swim through the spine, up through the neck and shoulders, 
all the way up out and through the arms. This movement will now unlock tension and unwind the spine. The energy that moves in the back is said to move like a snake or a serpent. So you can bring the arms up over the head and then back down as you bend the knees and just pulsate and undulate the spine laterally and side to side to coax that energy all the way up. I forgot how much fun this And then bring the hands back to the heart and the feet together. Take a deep breath and we'll do the swimming dragon with the feet together and the knees slightly bent. Push the arms out to the right. Come back to the center. Push the arms out to the left. We'll go back and forth here, feeling the rib cage, the shoulders, the spine, and all the tendons in the body stretching and opening. The swimming dragon also brings good flow of energy into the internal organs, especially the liver, the gallbladder, the spleen, and the stomach. Blow back and forth, turning the head in the opposite direction as the hands. Now we'll do a full swimming dragon movement. We're gonna make a big circle around the body, push out to the right side, come over to the left, come across now by the solar plexus, come down to the lower abdomen, and then up by the throat, and then we'll start our swimming dragon movement in the hips and the spine. Take the hands up over the head and come all the way up onto your toes. Inhale. And exhale back down. Let's do this form again. A big circle around and in front of the body. Press the hands to the left. Head and hips go right. Hands go right. Head and hips go left. Feel that flow of energy coming up from the lower body all the way up through the upper body. And then start to swim through the body, through the spine. Bring the hands up over the head. Take a deep breath up onto the toes. Let the rise up. Down the chest. Big circle in front of the body. Get energy into your personal space. And then as you do the swimming dragon movement, it spirals and circulates that energy through the energy centers and meridian pathways of the body. swim up and out through the arms, no, no. unlocking tension, freeing up that energy no, no. to flow no, no. Into, no, no. No, no. into the body no, no. and the joints, no, no. And all the way up over the head, no, no. under the toes, and back no, no. down to the center of the chest. One more time, big no, circle, no. arms press out to the left, hips go to the right, hands and arms now go to the right, hips to the left, going back and forth, Letting that chi spiral and unwind through the body. Swimming dragon now, starting by the face. Keep the knees bent and then swim all the way up over the head, onto the toes. your toes and then drop down and shake. Just allow any tension or tightness to release down and out through the arms. Do it again. Hold the thumb and drop and shake. Inhale through the nose and exhale out through the mouth. Take a deep breath, hold the thumb up onto the toes, bounce into the heels and shake. This helps to clear tension and tightness out of the body. Wherever you might be holding tension, just feel it release and relax. Take a deep breath, hold the thumb. Sorry for the yelling. And then Sometimes bounce you just into gotta... the heels. When you hold the thumb, this is the pressure point for the lung meridian. The lungs sometimes carry stress, tension, sadness, or depression. So at the end of the day, this helps to clear emotional energy, clear stress, and bring us back into a place of balance and free flow. Just notice now how your body feels. Shaking it up. Shaking it up the wrists, shoulders. And then we'll go into a flowing movement. So take both hands up by the chest and press out and go to the right side. Come across 
and press through with your left hand up over your head and your right hand pressing through. And now the right hand comes across, presses underneath the left. The left is just above the head. Inhale as you come to the center. Turn from the hips and the waist. Exhale and press through. This is called Fair Lady Works the Shuttle, and it's good for the heart meridian. Now as you push through, use the heart sound, which goes like this. So it's an inhale to the center, exhale with a to release and open the chest. The heart sound calms the mind, clears emotional stress, and rebalances the energy from the chest out through the arms. The heart is always affected by the various relationships in our lives. And by doing this movement with the sound, it helps to calm and bring the heart energy back to a place of better balance and equilibrium. Now bring the hands down. up straight up and down with this movement it's called Tai Chi opening it's a beautiful flow where we learn to relax and move without tension inhale bring the hands up exhale and float the arms down feel a wave-like quality moving through the spine and out through the arms inhale draw the arms up and exhale down move the body like water and just relax a little bit deeper. Breathe into the flow, soften and relax. Train yourself to move without tension. Where in your body can you relax and let go? Maybe it's around the neck or shoulders, your low back, your hips, your waist. Just soften a little bit deeper with each movement. Now we'll do one arm at a time. We'll go back and forth. Bring the right arm up and the left arm down. And then the left arm up and the right arm down. And allow the chi to pump and circulate through the body, through the hips and the waist, up through the spine and out through the arms. Moving one arm at a time helps to balance the left and right brain and balance yin and yang energy through the body. Inhale as you bring the right arm up. And exhale as you bring the left arm up. Inhale, right arm up. And exhale, left arm up. Relax your hips. And feel a little bit of a figure eight movement through the hips and the waist as one arm comes up and the other floats down. And come back to a place of centered and balanced, hands down to the side. The next movement is Kuan Yin, drawing a rainbow. So one arm just circles up and around. Both arms come up. Palms face down and relax. Let's circle the right arm, big circle all the way around the body, creating a rainbow of energy to the right side. The right palm is face up. Then it turns face down and both palms float down. Left arm, big circle around. Inhale, the left palm is face up, the right is down, and then drop both hands. Big circle with the right hand. Another energy. One palm face up, and they turn and both face down. Circle the left arm. Gather some energy to the left side of the body. Float it up, and float it down. Feel how this movement balances the yin and yang energy of the body on the right and left sides. Take a deep breath as that left arm circles. Exhale through. And down. And inhale. Gather energy. Draw it into the body. Pull forward and through. And exhale as you come down. Good. Do that again. This next series brings chi flow from the head all the way deep into the lower abdomen. Inhale, bring the left arm up to the face. Drop it down and let it flow into the lower abdomen. Let's inhale and bring the right arm up 
and exhale and push the chi down into the lower abdomen. Inhale, bring the left arm up and let the chi descend into the lower abdomen. Good, there's a small twist and turn from the hips in the waist. So turn the hips to the right, left arm up, and let it flow down the front of the body. Turn the hips to the left, the right arm up, and let it flow. Drawing energy into the face, opening the front channel, that yin pathway of the body. This is called the spring sun returns, and it's designed to bring warmth and heat into the belly and keep the mind and the body connected. Right arm up on the inhale. Exhale, draw the chi down into the lower abdomen. This exercise also calls back power and energy that might have been scattered or lost or depleted throughout your day. So just feel a sense of coming back to a center and bringing that power and energy down into the lower abdomen. Mommy! Yes, love. towards each other and push down the inside of one Mama. arm and switch push down the inside of one arm this is called repulse the monkey the monkey is a metaphor for unwanted thoughts turbulent thinking and turbulent emotions this moves the chi through the heart meridian through the forearms to the palms so now a deep breath Circle the arm, push down through the forearm. Let's go to the left side, push down through the right forearm to the palm. Take a deep breath and right arm circles, presses through. Using the breath as a way to calm the mind and increase the flow of that chi and circulation. is healthy, your mind and your emotions feel centered and balance, and this creates a spiritual connection to all the energy around you through nature and into the universe. Inhale, circle that left arm. Exhale, push through and flow. Relax into it. Make the movement smaller now. Say, gather a chi ball in the palms. So just a little spiral bring the hands back and forth feel the energy in the hands feel the energy between the hands inhale and open the palms exhale bring them a little closer together that chi or that magnetic field extends in and around your body it's important in qigong to be aware of the energy as it flows through you now bring the hands apart circle in front of you and then by your hips and your waist back of the hands come together and make a little circle in front of us inhale to the solar plexus this is a place of power and energy and then bring the hands to the mid eye another place of power and energy and float the arms down just push down clear out again palms face up and circle by the hips and the waist back of the hands together and circle to the solar plexus inhale Exhale and drop down, connect to the mid-eye. Fingers point in towards the mid-eye and then press down. This clears out old energy. And as you spiral here, we're drawing in new energy into the solar plexus. Breathe into it. Feel it expand and open. Exhale, drop down, circle up to the mid-eye. And push the hands down. Clear out. Come in towards the hips and the waist. Back of the hands float up, circle around to the solar plexus, exhale, drop down, push down, clear, drop down, come around, float around, circle to the solar plexus. And then let's just hold it, take a couple of deep breaths, close your eyes, and visualize the solar plexus warm and radiant. This is a place of power 
where we manifest from internally inside our bodies, from our energy, out into the physical world. Breathe into that. And then we'll float the arms down and around, bring the hands up to the mid-eye. This is a center of consciousness. And feeling connected, connected to nature, connected to a higher power, and feeling open and expanded inside. The mind is said to be creative, intuitive, and open. If our thoughts are turbulent, we can't connect. So feel this position and posture, calming and relaxing the mind, pushing down the unwanted thoughts. Come back to the center and step back with your right foot, both palms facing forward. Open, expand, come back behind you, and push through. This movement is called parting the clouds, and it clears unwanted energy, anything that's clouding your vision from keeping your energy going in the direction that you want it. So push through, part the clouds, come back and around. Exhale as the body comes forward. Step back with the other foot. Circle around and push through. Inhale as the arms come behind you. Exhale as you push forward and through. Taking some nice deep breaths. That's soft. Now as the arms open, you can even visualize golden light coming into the center of your chest, keeping the heart center warm and radiant, shifting the weight a little bit back and forth, and then step through. Let's step back with the other foot. Coming through, parting the clouds, opening the arms by the hips. Exhale as the arms go forward. Inhale as you circle around. Exhale. They say when our chi is stagnant or blocked inside, it's like clouds or fog misting your mind. You can't see through it. So this exercise helps to give you clear vision, opens the mind, and expands the heart center. Let's step back with the left foot now. Go into that flow. Inhale as you open the chest. Exhale as you push through. Shifting the weight helps to pump the energy from the ground up through the legs. The movement of the arms opens the heart center, and the breath keeps the chi flowing and circulating inside the meridians. And inhale as the arms open. And then step up, feet together, hands down to your sides. Go arms up and down. This one, the back of the hands are towards each other as the arms come up. As the arms come down, we exhale. Let the arms flow up and down, and let the spine wave from the tailbone up through the neck and shoulders. This is called the baby bird learning to fly. So here we're cultivating lightness and levity through the energy systems of the body. Turn your hips to the right, and just do this movement to the right side, floating the arms up and down, feeling the spine relax and flow. Float the arms up, float the arms down then turn to the center keep the flow going coming up and down cultivating that lightness flow of chi through the spine and out through the arms and turn your hips to the left breathe the energy up and down through the back up and down through the front of the body lightness and levity keep the chi circulating keep the vibration in the body strong so these flows relax your mind, balance the chi as it circulates the emotional energy as well. So turn to the left, and then we turn back to the center, keep the flow going up and down. And use this moment for a moving meditation. So you just allow your mind to drop into the present moment, to relax and unwind. Cleanse old thoughts, cleanse the stress of the day, and bring in new life force energy. Both relaxed. Allow one hand to be on top of the other. I my stuff here. I'm pulling down the stuff. 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 I'm pulling down the stuff.
like I do. You <laughs> do have some bare hands. <laughs> what are you doing with my bare hands? No, no. Not bare hands. I'm just hoping to receive all that abundance of energy from all around you. Flow through the brain. <laughs>
Yes. So the 30 minutes I spent before streaming to clean up the living room was... Cheers to that. <laughs> Oh, hello, Greatest Good. It's so good to see you. Oh my gosh, everybody. If you are not following Greatest Good Tarot, please do. Um, sorry, this is my life right now. Hello, my son. Hello, my son. Can you say hello to the people? No. Go follow the greatest good tarot. They're doing an amazing fundraiser right now. It's totally worth it. If my son had a dollar, he'd give him a dollar. Hey, I'm sorry. What happened to that dollar that your uncle uncle gave you? Did I oh was on my hands burr? I'm sorry. Did I pinch you with my bracelet? Did this bracelet pinch you? I'm sorry. Okay, well, here, you better go up my hair then. So normally I don't stream with my son here, um, but lately every day I have off, I have him. So I'm like, all right, these are our mornings. <laughs> this is what we're doing. So I, I needed it though, that this is why I do Qigong. It literally keeps me calm. Um, he's super sweet, honestly. Yeah, he's always in a really good mood. He's great, um, not complaining, but it does make it a little bit chaotic and difficult. Hopefully, I'm hoping that the screaming wasn't terrible during that. I'm gonna have to go back and watch the VOD and see how the sound was. That's my biggest worry is like, are we blowing people's eardrums out? I really do want this to be kind of calming. <laughs> Qigong is really calming for me. Um, and literally that's the reason I do it is because even when it's super chaotic, like I need to be able to stay calm and not like lose it. Cause that's kind of the whole point of motherhood um, is to be able to teach kids how to handle their emotions. So we have to learn how to handle ours. So, um, yep, <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> Thanks, Basil. Um, yeah, it's proven necessary, um, but no, Qigong is awesome. It does, it, like everything that he was saying, it heals our body from the inside out, brings calm energy to our minds. Um, but Greatest Good is doing a really great fundraiser right now for a sweet pup that needs um, a very extremely expensive surgery in the next 10 days. They need to raise the money. So if you're able to donate, every little bit helps right now. Um, spreading the word helps, doing whatever we can helps. So. Um, I know I got a little bit sidetracked and it was a little distracting with the giggles, but I do want to mention that because I don't have somewhere where I have donation bar or like any cool things on my screen, but um, I do want to remind people of that because that's a really important cause at the moment that we're, you know, trying to do our best to assist in whatever way we can. So share it online, share it with your friends, share a link right to Greatest Goods. Um, Twitch channel because you could do that and then people can just follow that link and donate there too so fudge oh my god I used to work at a little um, farm little garden I don't know what they called it some kind of gardening shop farming shop where we sold homemade fudge but that's the cutest name for pup ever oh that's great there's the link okay there's the link everyone I'm gonna copy that oh, I don't want to I think I can copy it from right from here um, anyway, I will, I'm going to copy that and share that later. I'll put it on my, um, Instagram as well. So that, um, that'll be the top link on my, um, link tree. So hopefully they do that. <laughs> what is a gong? Qi gong. So it's a martial art actually. So 
Q-I is actually pronounced she, rhymes with T. Um, but yeah, Chi is the energy force that flows through our body. Um, it's basically, essentially, this is a healing ourselves from the inside out practice. Um, but yeah. Uh, anyway, I better get going because I had to tell him that I was just saying goodbye. I knew I wasn't going to be able to stream for too long, but this was actually much better than I thought. And thank you to the people who rated me. Oh my gosh, that was so wonderful. I was so not expecting it. Holy cow. Um, <laughs> oh boy, I'm just laughing at things. I've, jokes I post on the internet. How silly. I hope you all laugh at your own jokes. It's one of the little joys in life. All right, who's online right now? Ooh, ooh, I want to say hi to you guys. Hmm. Dang, it's so early still. Holy cow. Hey, some lovely people yesterday having their pets supporting Fudge. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh. Bye, Air Knight. Thank you. Tattoo drama. Yay. I can't get back. Oh, that's so sweet. Um, You guys are wonderful. Yeah, so stick with us. We're going to raid over. Um, who do we want to raid? Do you want to? Let's raid Sweet. Just a Sweet. A raider, a sweet raider, a sweet, sweet streamer. Um, as pet mom, all about the animals, exactly. We used to foster animals from the, from the pound, so we'd get like, my mom would go in and get like a whole litter of puppies for us to raise and train. That was craziness. Um, but yeah, okay, this is a super sweet streamer. If you don't know her, she's lovely. Uh, potato blue she's a really just an all-around all nice person um yeah i think she's in just chatting right now so it'll be a very chill stream but i love you guys thanks for doing that practice with me um only three years oh, my heart oh my goodness well sending so much love i can actually send some healing that way as well so fudge and now i know his face oh, he's so sweet Okay, sending so much love, sending some healing to the whole family, really, because I know that it's just, it always takes out all of us. Um, I lost my, I lost my parents' dog that I, well, that I grew up with in 2018, and it still feels like way too soon. So, yeah, dogs are a part of the family, absolutely. So, sending so much love, sending so much healing. Um, love you guys so much. Thanks for being in here. I appreciate it. Appreciate your time. Hopefully, if you didn't do the practice, you'll get to do it later because um, it is a good one for our bodies. So, love you so much. Bye. I'm going to take my hair down now because, let's be honest, the hair is the, hair's the top feature. Y'all came for the red hair. <laughs> oh, okay. Have a great day, though. Love you guys. We're going to put these up. Get some sunshine in the air. There we go. How do you know? Yeah, I know. I might be pretty, but I'm not stupid. <laughs> um, love you guys. Bye.